Color is a blessing for the eyes. It captures memories like no others. Truly, an essential part of life. However, for people here at the Jishtel near the Tamlun Canal, sometimes the present of color may not be so pleasant. Textile industry stands at second place for export turnover in Vietnam, with the highest growth rate. So, it is easy to understand how textile becomes one of the most important pivot in the development of our country. But, is the textile industry we are running sustainable? Based on a report by four of our textile companies, big and small in Vietnam, 80% of them violate the environment regulation. And for Ho Chi Minh City, that number is 100%. We are here at the Bin Canal, a branch of Tamlu Canal flowing through the Big Bang District. There are many textile facilities nearby, including the wastewater directly into this canal, raising intense concerns for the environment and human health. The method used to most textile companies nowadays to treat back containing wastewater is called flocculation. The chemicals used in this conventional method have extremely low prices, and as you might guess it, whenever something like this is cheap, the real cost is at the environment. The thing about flocculation that is problematic, we have to avoid treating much like substance and toxins. Thus, in need of even further processing. What's more important, this conventional method requires massive air of land with equipment. And land here in the crowded Ho Chi Minh City is a luxury. Therefore, many textile facilities release their undertreated wastewater directly into the Pamlu Canal. This situation has been around for many, many years. And as textile industry in Vietnam continues to rise, the pollution is carried continues to get worse. We are desperate for solution. We need something clean, effective, but not take up so much land area. We need something small, something nano. Nanocast stands for nano color aquatic treatment, that is the treatment of organic dyes in water using nanotechnology. And it is created here at the key laboratory for chemical engineering and petroleum processing, Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology. The main function of the nanocast comes from a nanocomposite. The material, combined with ultraviolet irradiation, has the ability to oxidize organic dyes to neutral products like CO2 and water, cutting down on the need for further processing, creating a process that is effective, cost efficient, and more important, environmentally friendly. If you want to know more about the nanocat technology, please visit www.nanocat.technology. The big innovations finance is coming soon. We hope to see you there. But until then, this, this is, is Nanocat. We wish you a wonderful day. See you soon. Bye. Bye.